oh, February the 1st. It's a balmy zero degrees centigrade here at the moment. I'm out in the garden. There's a gentle zephyr coming from the east, carrying the occasional snow flurry. I've brought the telescope out to film the moon. This is the moon live. And a little while later, just below it, and a bit to the right, the planet Venus should appear. Well, I've got the telescope set up at the moment, and it's pointing at the moon. You can see the moon during the daylight, of course. So I'll just show you a quick view from the um, cam uh, of the telescope and the and, uh, live view of the moon through there. Here is my uh, telescope set up. I've got the uh, dew shield off at the moment because of the the uh, breeze which is actually carrying snow will keep the uh, dew from the scope, from the lens. And uh, on the screen there at the moment is a live view of the south pole of the moon. Or the visible part of the south pole, or near enough the south pole anyway. See some quite spectacular cratering there. But um, when you consider that you can see what you can see with your eye, that is the full field of view of the telescope with this astro, this particular astro imager on board. So I have to take quite a few shots to get the whole moon in. What I'm hoping to do is process, take some video through uh, the astro cam, which I'll show you in a minute, and process that so that you can see it, see some uh, live video from the moon and uh, also process it into an image which should be quite a spectacular image. I'll put that, uh, uh, I'll do that a bit later. I've got winds quite strong and cold here at the moment. You see it's moving the scope quite violently so I don't know how well I'll be able to take photographs but we'll give it a go anyway. This uh, little blue device here attached to the end of the scope is the Astro Imager and uh, it's connected by a USB cable to the computer here, so my, my laptop computer. Let's see if I can give you a quick scan around the, around the moon whilst, uh, whilst we're here. And that's the south and if we do this we should be able to scan up the uh, up the terminator of daylight. Well, you get the best image of craters. This is just coming up to the uh, north part of the moon. It's quite difficult to steer it by hand and concentrate on the other filming. This is the uh, the north limb of the moon on the Terminator. So as you can see it's quite a spectacular view.